So, hey guys, this is God of you watching Computer Freaks, and today we're going to talk about Volley. So, what are we going to do in this video? We're going to make an Android application which is going to look something like this, in which uh, we're going to have Hello World in here by default. And when I hit the button, we're going to do a simple get request and we're going to get a data and we're going to get data in response from our server and uh, the data will look something like this if you can see here uh, over my mouse we're going to receive a json object in response and we're going to use the name what the fuck this like this okay we're going to use this name attribute that's Gaurav and we're going to place it here in the text view hello world so before moving ahead let's first of all talk about what is volley so if you look at it volley is basically uh, a networking library which was introduced to make networking calls much easier faster without writing tons of code as it is easily explaining it's a networking library and it's used to do networking calls any get request post request put request that you want to do to your server from your mobile android application you can do it using the library called volley so uh before looking at the code let's check out the prerequisites for this tutorial you should have your server up and running i have my server on heroku uh, and i've made the server using node.js you can use any language uh, it doesn't matter the second prerequisite is that you should set up an set up an api get endpoint and send a json object in response to that request okay so the url might look something like https myurl.com slash api slash simple request it can be anything um and in the response we are going to send a json object in which the first attribute is going to be i'm sorry the first attribute is going to be status one and the second attribute is going to be name gaurav right and we use this second attribute that is the name and place it in the place of the hello world text that we have in our android application so what's the code gonna look like the code is pretty simple we're gonna do a json object request and in that json object request we have to basically pass four parameters the first parameter is the where is my mouse yes yeah. so the first parameter is method type right what type of method you're using you're using a get request you're using a post request you're using a put request whatever it is you're going to mention it here in the first parameter second parameter is the url that is uh, what's the URL that you're using um, at which you're trying to do the get request in this case? Uh, the third parameter is basically a new object parameter. It is uh, pretty much like, you know, representing the type of object that we're trying to use here. So since we're using a JSON object or we're trying to do a JSON object request, we'll put a new JSON object in this third parameter. Uh, it'll get much clearer when you look at the code. The fourth parameter is going to be a response listener, which is a which is basically a function which is going to respond to the response object that we get in the response from the server. A lot of responses here. So basically, you know, we get this response object, which which is which looks like this JSON object in here, and whatever we're trying to do with that JSON object is going to come in the response listener. Then there comes the error listener which is going to handle all the errors which might happen in this whole code thing right so let's uh, quickly move to the code and i have added basically a github repository link in the description below in which you can see the code for the main activity which i am going to use in this tutorial right so you can just pretty much copy the code from there and get started as quick as possible so i have also used the same code in here so one thing that you should really take care is that i have mentioned your server url here you have to just simply put your server's url <laughs> which you are going to use for this get request right i have my own and i'm not going to show it to you guys because the server which i'm using basically is uh, the server which i use usually for my project so i cannot show that url to you guys before moving ahead to explain the code, it's really important to get to some points. One of the important things is that you have to import a dependency uh, that's com.android 
dot volley 1.1.1 which you can basically see from the Android developers website as well right they have said here that you have to import this dependency now the important thing is that you have to mention the you have to mention the user's permission for internet because we're going to use internet to request to do the get request okay so these are the two important things let's move on to the main activity in the main activity uh, i have basically tried to define the text view and the button which we are going to use in here in the activity main then i have uh, basically put the set on click listener method for our button and inside the on click method i'm trying to do the whole json request thing so the first and the very important thing that you have to do is that you have to initiate a request queue so what is a request queue basically uh, whatever it is a get request a put request a post request it is a request right and when there are a lot of these kind of requests we have to make a queue in which these requests will be arranged right and as the time comes that is as in when their turn comes uh, they are going to be executed right so this is the request queue which you have to initiate and each queue i'm sorry and each request will be added to this queue and when their turn comes up they will be executed right so this is that kind of queue which you would have obviously seen in your real life right then as i said in the code you have to start with a json object request which is a json object request and you have to say a new json object request and inside that we're going to put parenthesis and inside the parenthesis as you can see which ends here you have to add five parameters the first one is the method type which is going to be in our case request.method.get the second parameter is the url which i have mentioned here which again i've linked from the code above uh, you can add your url here or any variable which you have initiated with your url string then the third parameter is a new json object which is basically uh, like trying to show that we are going to use a json object here right uh, whatever the response is going to be it's going to be a json object okay so that's what the third parameter is trying to show the fourth parameter is um, a response listener function right and we're going to pass a json object in here in the brackets why are we doing that because we are basically getting a json object in response and we are going to do something we're going to process it so we are basically passing that json object and inside that response listener function we have a method called on response right inside the on response method we are passing json object and the object name is response right so whatever the response object is which in our case is uh, uh, let me show you this this object with status one and name gaurav um, this object is going to be called response for the time being and then we can do anything we want to do with that response object right and then you have to create a try and catch block and inside that try and catch block inside the try block we will take that response object we'll convert it into a string and put it in a string called server data now we are going to create a json object out of that server data string which is called object now i'm going to get the string out of the object named name right so if you look in here the string inside this json object called name is called gaurav right so i am going to get gaurav and put it into the text view and what's the text view text view is this hello world so uh, when i hit the button and i get the response object i'm going to take out the string called name and put it in the text view right so the text view that's hello world will get converted to gaurav right and then lastly comes the error listener right in the error listener we have got on error response function and on error response we've got a volley error called error and i'm gonna just simply log that error in case some error occurs and lastly but most importantly we have to add that json object request to 
the queue that we created in the beginning that's the most important thing and then simply you have to just run the application and see what happens and as I've shown you I'm just gonna do it again uh, only select the application then I'm just gonna start the screen recording on my device and here you go you can see the log I'm gonna hit the button hit the button and this is some oh so it's saying bad URL okay so by mistake I have not added the URL myself <laughs> Okay, so I've, I'm going to change this URL very quickly and then run the application again. And uh, then we will see the results. Okay, so now I have changed the URL. I'm going to hit run again. So, I just made the mistake against which I was warning you guys. So, let's hit the button again. Yep. So we have got the data. That's the JSON object. Status one, name Gaurav. And as you can see in the application, we have the text view as Gaurav as well. So this way, I think you guys got to understand what Volley is all about. How to do a simple get request in Volley. How to write the code. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video as well. So if you did, do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe